An unnerving scene involving an evil waterbed and a traumatized child might seem like a pretty unreal occurrence. But in the freaky real-life history that fuels the Conjuring horror movie universe, it's not that big a swing. The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It, in theaters and on HBO Max Friday, is the third film to star Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga as real-life married paranormal investigators Ed and Lorraine Warren, and the new chapter digs into a famously high-profile case, the 1981 trial of 19-year-old Arne Cheyenne Johnson, the first person to use demonic possession as a murder defense. The Devil doesn't leave much time for courtroom drama, instead focusing on the Warren's twisty quest for clues to help Arne, played by Rory O'Connor, who's inhabited by a dark force after it hops out of the body of 11-year-old David Glatzel, Julian Hilliard, during an exorcism. In real life, Johnson was convicted of first-degree manslaughter of his landlord and served five years of a 10-20 to year sentence. The fun thing about these movies is you're always playing this fun game of, well, what was true? How extraordinary did it get, says Devil, director Michael Chavez. He grew up Catholic, yet in making the movie, it's like my own faith was in question. If you choose to believe Arne and his story, it really has consequence and weight, because we're talking about a real victim and a real murder. Chavez admits that, while the story is based on a real case, court records and interviews, certain liberties were taken to craft the movie version. He talks to USA Today about how he balanced telling the story right vs making an entertaining horror thriller. The movie starts off with the Warrens and a priest trying to drive the evil spirit out of David's body. According to Chavez, there are no photographs from the actual exorcism, but multiple witnesses said that David levitated. Audiences have seen that in a lot of exorcism movies, so, we wanted to really put them back on their heels, Chavez says. He opted for a sequence where David is bone-crackingly turned into a human pretzel. When you see levitation, there's something magical about that, Chavez says. But seeing a little child going through these contortions and essentially being physically tortured was much more unsettling. In the new, Conjuring, installment, Arne is found covered in blood and walking aimlessly down the road by police after the fatal incident with his landlord. That story beat is true, but the trippy, haunting and visceral murder sequence in the movie is a fabrication because the real Johnson blacked out and has no memory of it. Obviously, something was going on with Arne, Chavez says. Maybe it was a demon. Maybe there was something else. This is really an extraordinary event in his life and so you have to kind of imagine that something had put him in a headspace, which he detached from reality.